Hello and welcome to the running a lottery tutorial. In this tutorial we'll show you how to run a lottery to draw winners out of the participants in your service, a feature that can be used if you regularly give away prizes and need to perform draws. To access this feature we need to go to the VASP view page. To do this, starting from the main menu, we click on services management, then click on the appropriate service type, and then finally we click on the vast name. At the top right of the page you can see the actions box. In this box the rightmost button is the new draw button and clicking this takes us to the draw wizard page. In the simple version of the draw you simply select the number of winners and click on new draw. At the top of this page, which is the Lottery Results page, and above your winners, you'll see the parameters used for this draw. Below these, you'll find the timestamp of the exact date and time that the draw took place. Following this is an ordered list of winners, each with a mobile phone, the message body, and the exact date that it was sent. You can export your winners to Excel, PDF and RTF and please note that when you do, we'll include your parameters in that file together with the timestamp of the draw. If our example has covered the needs for your draws, then you can safely skip the rest of this tutorial. However, our lottery mechanism is a lot more powerful than what we've seen so far. So we'll now take a look at the further options we have when running a draw. Back in the first step, let's again select a number of winners and let's take a look at the advanced options. The first option here, Unique Participants, allows your participants to only enter once in the draw with the first message that they send to your service. Any subsequent messages that they send will be ignored. The second option, should winners be re-entered into the draw, is the equivalent of drawing a number out of a hat and then re-entering the number back into the hat so it can be redrawn. This will be useful in cases where you have many prizes and you wish your participants to be able to win each one. I'll select unique participants for my draw and move on to the second step. In this step you can select the time periods for which SMS messages received will be considered valid for the draw. If you do not enter any periods then all SMS messages are considered valid. However, entering time periods can be useful in limiting entries into your draw. For example, if you only wanted to enter into the draw people who sent their message from 2 till 4 in the afternoon, Monday to Friday. I'm not really interested in this right now, so I'll put the start of this year. Oh, let's make this. Notice how I can click and drag to change the date. And today. And clicking this button will add it. And if I wanted to remove it, I could click this button. Now, the final step is the exceptions. If I wanted to, I could exclude specific numbers or specific sets of numbers from this draw. For example, if I wanted to exclude winners from previous draws, I could enter uh, each of their mobile phones in here and add them to the list. Or if I wanted to exclude uh, numbers from a specific provider. To do this or to exclude a range of numbers, you can use the star character as a wildcard, meaning that it would match any digit in that position in your number. So let's say I want to exclude uh, mobile phones from Tim. It's a mobile phone company here in Greece. And I can now click on new draw. This button will take me to the previous draw results, but I want a fresh draw now. And these are my draw results. 
Notice again that at the top of the page we have all the parameters used, including the time periods and exceptions that we now defined, with a new timestamp as well. And note that in my list I have no numbers starting with 30693. Again, these results can be exported to Excel, PDF and RTF. And again, all of these parameters will also be included in the export. This concludes the tutorial on the lottery mechanism of the SMSP platform. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, comments or suggestions, please feel free to contact us.